what is up youtube it is cameron's aquatics bringing you another fish tank video and as you guys can see the 20 gallon long leaf is back I'm so excited it's been so long um so really quickly i'm just gonna go over everything you see in this tank currently this is an aquatic life t5ho uh fixture i currently have a blue plus and a purple plus ati bulb in there and they are making this tank look quite purple and blue so it looks really good it brings out the green and the uh the corals and as for flow we have two 425 gallon per hour coralia nano powerheads that are putting out a good amount of flow um and they are keeping the sand bed circulated which is just some um, oceans direct live sand i believe and for rock, I dried out this rock from my last 20 gallon tank, dried it out completely, made sure there was no pests on it. This is Marker Rock. If you guys are looking for dry rock, I would don't go to BRS, go to Marker Rock. Marker Rock is where it's at. You can find really cheap dry rock there, and it's actually very nice. So I really highly recommend them. Um, and so yeah, besides that, we have the background painted painted black there. So like the look there. And then as for the overflow, we have an eShops 800 overflow. I received the, uh, the intake for the YouTube there, it was cracked, so I had silicone in it because air was ripping into it. And uh, it was causing a horrible gurgling sound. And to stop that, you could use a piece of airline tubing there and just stick it into the, uh, the intake there. And uh, yeah, so looking pretty good up top. We also have the return right here. Let's open the back of the tank. And I'll take that down to the sump now. Here it is. So, water comes down from there, hits the first chamber. This is seven inches of water right here, which is holding my SCA301 poking skimmer. I have it set to about two. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's set to about two. I'm just breaking it in. That's why I have the light pointed on it because I'm trying to build up some. Uh, some algae there and then as for the heating I just have a random flu bowl there rated for like 30 gallons I believe and then for my refugium there's currently nothing in it right now but I do have this LED light that will be shining over it as you guys can see I'll be shining over it uh, during the night to stop pH swings and I know I said I was gonna make a bubble trap but I tested the system and there was not a lot of micro bubbles surprisingly, so I just said screw it and just have this one little baffle here. And that goes into the Rio 2005 power uh, pump here. And that, I believe it is about 800 gallons per hour, but I'm not sure. And that comes up to this tube, to the YouTube there. And yeah, so this is basically all the hardware. Now for the livestock, obviously there's not a lot of things. I just set this tank up probably three weeks ago. And me being the absolute idiot that I am, I believe that the stupid um, instant cycle stuff, or the stuff that helps cycle the tank, like the beneficial bacteria bottles, I believe that would help. But uh, no, so as you can see, I put my corals and everything that were just sitting in my 10 gallon, I put them in. Almost positive it just killed my torch, and uh, I'm not too happy about that because that was probably one of my best corals I had in the tank. Um, the zoanthids are kind of closed up, as you can see, you see a little bit of the pulp extension. The clown is doing fine, he's uh, he's pretty happy to be back in a bigger tank. The uh, the frog spawn, the little, little thing there, it's pretty not in good shape. The GSP is just sitting there, and I also put the cleanup crew in here, and so. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up a new cleanup crew. So that means the shrimp is coming back. We are bringing some brittle stars into here. A whole, the whole nine yards for cleanup crew because I am not getting Aptasia, anything like that. I'm not getting algae in this tank guys. I put in too much money. So yeah, we're going to get the cleanup crew. I'm going to take you guys step by step on how I do this. Uh, I just skipped the cycle process because it's pretty boring in my opinion. Just Putting water, live rock, live sand. Okay, my bad guys, my uh, <clears throat> my phone broke up on storage, so we should be good now. But as I was saying, um, I just skipped the cycle process. It's simply just, it's too easy. Like, if you guys don't know how to cycle your tank, then you should not be doing 
getting into leafing, I would start off with fresh water. And maybe I'll do some videos on how to cycle a freshwater tank, but if you're getting into reefing, you should already know how to cycle your tank. But, um, yeah, so clean up crew first, then I'll be making some videos on how to add corals, etc. And, um, yeah, guys, we're going to do this tank really good this time. Uh, hopefully, we do this right and have a really, really nice tank for you guys and for me. And, personally, I, uh... I'm kind of required to have this tank nice because it was right next to my bed. So, uh, yeah, this tank better be nice or else I'm going to be paranoid. So, uh, if you guys enjoyed, please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. So, peace out.